guys, so this is a little bit of a impromptu kind of video. I hope all of you guys are doing lovely. So I did finish like doing my foundation, I concealed, I contoured, I bronzed my face, all those things. I have yet to do my eyeshadow, my lips, highlights, blush, all that fun stuff. So I figured I would film this because a lot of the products I'm using are new. I have yet to test any of these out, well most of these out, and I figured I would do my own film and tell you my thoughts on these products. So I'm going to start out with the eyes. I'm going to use this little itty bitty palette from Kat Von D. This is the shade and light eye palette and I have the shade rust. So this look is going to be kind of monochromatic featuring the color orange so I'm super excited. So here are all of the beautiful colors. I have heard that her palettes are just phenomenal. I have a couple of her like older palettes. I never purchased the big shade and light palette for the eyes. So I figured I would try out these. I heard that they are really buttery and smooth and easy to blend and pigmented. So we are going to test it out. So I'm going to start off by using this color here. It's kind of like a pink, like a seashell pink. So I'm going to put this all over my lid let's see if this is like super pigmented no actually it's not that bad so I'm just gonna put this all over my eyeball I always like using like a skin tone shade all over the eye and it just sets the primer as well and cancels out any veining or discoloration that I may have then I am going to take, let's see, I'm going to take the color, what is this color? Well, there's actually no names for these. It's just base, define, contour, and highlight. That's simple enough. So anyways, I'm going to take the orange shade right here, and I'm going to place this on my lid. Ooh, child, this is pigmented. That is gorgeous. I guess I should be telling you what, sh what uh, brushes I'm using. I'm using the Sedona Lace EB09 and this big guy, this big eyeshadow brush was the Zoeva 222 Luxe All Over Shader. I'm going to use the rust color again and a blending brush. This is like my favorite blending brush, but it's from Shani and this is the F21 blending brush. And I'm just going to dip this in ever so lightly because it is super pigmented and just bring this up into the crease of cups. So we're blending that color up into the crease. It made it less stark and it makes everything more cohesive but I feel like I want to build this color a little bit more onto the crease so that's what I'm going to do. That's much better. And I like doing this technique because I can really get in there and add more color without it getting lost. And with the same blending brush, I'm just going to take a little bit of the color off of it. And I'm going to blend this into the inner corners of my eye. I love one shadow looks. They're probably my favorite to do especially with a bold color like this. I just find it to be very pretty. So I'm going to add some of this rust color on the lower lash line as well. Super simple look, guys. This is a pencil brush from uh, Crown Brushes. I'm going to make this kind of thick. I'm going to take some of that matte brown and place that on the outer corners of my eyes just for some more uh, definition. So I'm going to take this Party Queen small tapered blending brush and dip it into the matte brown and define this eye a little bit, the outer corners a little bit. So 
so I'm just bringing this brown right into the socket. So you definitely want a blending brush that is tapered and also a little bit dense. One eye always seems to look better. It's usually this one. Can't blend them all right. So taking a clean, fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to blend this a little bit so it's a little bit more soft. And if you feel like you lost any orange, just pop some more on. I'm gonna keep this an all matte look, so I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade. This is like a cream color. It looks like it's going to be a painted one, and I'm just gonna pop this on the inner corners. That really brightened up the inner corners. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that and just place this on my brow bone. And I am going to use this. I'm really excited about this. This is from Touch and Soul. And I haven't even opened it up. It's still in its lovely packaging. And this is a super proof gel eyeliner in the shade Cosmic Carrot, which is a orange. This is number two. And I want to get all of these. If this performs really nice, I want to get all of them because there's just some super nice colors. I want to get the lavender and the teal. So this is what it looks like. I believe Touch and Soul is like a Korean brand, if I'm not mistaken, but they have really cool, innovative stuff. So, here is the pencil. It's kind of popping out there, which kind of scares me. So I'm going to put this on my waterline. So my first impression on this liner from Touch and Soul is that it sucks. It's really, really dry. And the actual like pencil is kind of loose in here. The color is gorgeous, but it's very chalky, very dry. So if you wanted to put this on your waterline, it would take you ages and you would end up actually like irritating your eyes, which is what happened. ColourPop has a color that is similar to this called Pony, I believe. And it's like a vivid orange just like this. So I would skip on this and buy the ColourPop one for $5. I believe this was like $16. It does come with like a sharpener, but it's it's not good. It's not good stuff. So I wouldn't get any more of those. But yeah, it's fun. I don't really know if you could see the pop of orange. It's a nice pop of color, but it just doesn't work to my expectations. So anyways, I'm going to curl my lashes and add some mascara and I will be right back. So now I'm going to put on some blush. And this is from Too Faced. This is, you know, this has been in my collection for a while. This isn't something that I just got, but it's one of my favorites and I feel like it's gonna go good with this look. So this is the Too Faced Love Flush Long Lasting 16 Hour Blush and I will always love you. And that's what it looks like. So I'm going to apply some to my cheeks. And I'm using the Zoeva Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush. I'm just popping this right here, right in this area. I don't want to bring it down too much because I actually want to elongate my face or slim down my face so if you place your blush in this area you're actually lifting your face so you're pretty much essentially giving yourself a facelift which is pretty awesome honestly this is probably my least favorite brush from Zoeva and I love Zoeva's brushes but this one sheds like a mofo uh, I have three highlighters here. I have the Milani Bella Chiffon, which is actually a shadow, but I use it as a highlight. I have the Kat Von D Thunderstruck, which is also a eyeshadow, but I like to use it as a highlight. And my Ofra Cheeky Cheekbone Enhancer, which I used in my last tutorial. Uh, so I think I'm going to go ahead and use this one. It's like a golden shade in Bella Chiffon, and then maybe I will top it with this. So delicious and I'm gonna use this brush here this is from party queen and this is the duo fiber powder slash blush brush so just adding that to the tops of my cheekbones that's quite intense huh 
one of my favorites. It reminds me of Becca's Moonlight. Hmm, I don't know if I want to do the forehead. I'm just going to leave it like that. And kind of fluff that out a little bit. Too much highlight on the nose. I think I'm just going to leave the highlight just as is because it's already pretty intense. I'm going to go ahead and put my lips on. So this is from Bite Beauty and this is in the shade Persimmon. And it's just gorgeous. It's like a red and orange. I would say. This smells really good. It smells like lemon meringue. Yeah, so I'm going to need to bring up my mirror a little closer. So that is Persimmon. It is a bright one. And I needed a lip brush to help assist out. This is quite intense, and since it is so creamy, it's a little scary to apply, but I do love the color a lot. I love these kind of like bright oranges, especially with my skin tone. I think it really just complements it very well. Okay, so the last step is this. This is from Bare Minerals, and this is the Invisible Light Translucent Powder Duo. So, there is a matte side and a glow side. And this reminds me, this is the packaging, this reminds me a lot of the Hourglass Ambient Powders. So that is what it looks like. Really beautiful. So this is the matte side and then this is the glow side. It feels so very fine, like very finely milled. And to be honest, there isn't much of a difference between the, the matte and the glow side. Yeah. The matte is just a little bit more pigmented and a little bit more stark. So I'm going to set my under eyes a little bit. So I'm just going to take the matte shade with this Mr. Right brush from Too Faced and just do a little bit of setting. Especially around the areas that tend to really get oily. I'm going to add a little bit of the glow powder underneath my eyes as well. I would say that it really does a good job at like filling out my fine lines, so that's pretty awesome. But it's pretty much translucent, which is nice. So I'm definitely going to have to use this a little bit more. Uh, I typically set my face uh, before I put like color products on my face, but I just wanted to test it out on camera, so there's a lot. And yeah. That is the complete, complete, this is the complete look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little monochromatic orange look that I have going on. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye. Ah!